31 Belgian Tavera facts every owner should know. Number 1. The elegant and agile Belgian Tavern, affectionately called the Turf, is a medium to large sized dog. Males range from 24 to 26 inches tall and weigh 55 to 75 pounds, while females are a bit smaller, standing at 22 to 24 inches and weighing 45 to 60 pounds. Number 2. One of the most striking characteristics of Tavarans is their beautiful feathering. Their tails, thighs, and necks exhibit long, luxurious hair, contributing to their elegant appearance, and the strong, slightly curved tail combined with the feathering enhances their overall aesthetics. Number 3. These dogs boast a distinctive double coat consisting of a dense, straight, and long outer layer paired with a soft undercoat. This coat serves as a natural shield against weather and adds to their elegant appearance. Number 4. The Tavern's elegant coat exhibits a mahogany hue with a black overlay giving them a distinctive and rich appearance. Like other Belgian shepherds, their long coarse hair comes in colors such as fawn and russet mahogany with black accent, while also showcasing tones of white, gray, cream, and light beige. Number 5. Belgian Tavarans commonly display a distinct black mask covering their face that showcase their expressive and vigilant dark brown eyes. Their upright triangular ears further enhance their attentive and exorbitant expression. Number 6. As per the American Kennel Club standards, Belgian Tavaran males under 23 inches or over 26 and a half inches and females under 21 inches or over 24 and a half inches face immediate disqualification from confirmation shows. Other disqualifying factors include ears that hang like a hound, an undershot bite, a cropped or stumped tail, solid black or liver colored coats, or excessive white except in specific areas. Number 7. The Belgian Tavarin can easily be mistaken for the German Shepherd because of their resembling appearances. Despite their initial resemblance, there are distinct differences between the Belgian Tavarin and the German Shepherd. Turves are typically smaller in size, have a narrower range of colors, and they sport a distinctive mane or it, unlike the German Shepherd. Number 8. One of the remarkable characteristics of Tuverans is their keen intelligence. These guys excel in obedience, agility, and herding thanks to their natural inclination toward taking on mental and physical challenges. However, they can display a touch of stubbornness and independence at times. Number 9. Tuverans are known for their outstanding alertness and protective instincts, making them exceptional towards dogs. Having a Tuveran means having a built-in protector who will bark to signal anything suspicious. With a Tuveran, you can be confident that no no one will sneak up on you unnoticed. Number 10. As a herding dog, the Belgian Tavaran naturally possesses a strong instinct to herd, which might include small animals, children, and even large cars. This behavior could potentially lead to accidents. If not trained appropriately, Tavarans might also nip at the heels of young children, so training them early is a must. Number 11. Turves are renowned for their high energy levels. If not kept occupied and satisfied, they might easily resort to destructive behaviors like chewing, digging, and excessive barking due to unspent energy. You gotta provide consistent exercise and mental stimulation to prevent this. Number 12. These inquisitive dogs have a strong desire to explore and may attempt to wander off if something catches their attention. It's a good idea to keep them on a leash during walks and ensure your house has a securely fenced yard to prevent any escape attempts and potential trouble. Number 13. The Tavaran is typically a healthy breed with an average life expectancy ranging from 10 to 14 years. With proper care and affection, many of these dogs can live longer and more fulfilling lives. Number 14. Although Belgian Tavarans are generally robust and healthy, like any breed, they can be susceptible to certain health issues. As a Tavaran owner, you gotta be aware of potential complications such as hip dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy, elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism, von Willebrand disease, allergies, and epilepsy. Number 15. One significant health concern among puppies of the four Belgian Shepherd types is cardiomyopathy with juvenile mortality, which is an inherited condition causing early puppy deaths often within six to eight weeks after birth. Initially, the puppies develop in a normal manner, but later they display vague symptoms like vomiting, unsteady movements, and breathing difficulties, ultimately leading to heart failure. Number 16. Dogs with deep, narrow chests like Tavarans are prone to a life-threatening condition called bloat. This condition involves the stomach filling up with gas and painful twisting. If not treated promptly, it can lead to swift, sometimes fatal consequences occurring within as little as 30 minutes. Number 17. Originating in the late 1800s, the Belgian Tavarun was developed alongside three other Belgian Shepherd dogs. The Belgian Sheepdog, also known as the Belgian Gronendel, the Malinois, and the Lake Equinois. Despite their varied fur types, all four of these breeds were so much alike that people once considered them as one breed. 
Number 18. MF Corbiel, a Belgian brewer and dog breeder, is recognized for crafting this breed. The breed finds its roots in Corbiel's two dogs, Tom and Pouts, revered as the founding pair. Stories tell that Corbiel utilized his dog Tom for both pulling his beer cart during the day and safeguarding the brewery at night, showcasing the breed's versatility and unwavering loyalty. Number 19. The turf got its name from the Belgian village of Tervaren, where they originated due to Corbiel's efforts. These dogs were often utilized in rural areas for herding and safeguarding purposes, owing to their versatile nature and strong guarding instincts. Number 20. In Belgium, these dogs are recognized by another name, the Chien de Berger Belge. Initially grouped together as one breed, all four Belgian Shepherd dogs led to the formation of the Club de Chien de Berger Belge in 1891. This club aimed to distinguish and highlight the distinctive traits of each of these breeds. Number 21. In 1892, Professor Adolf Ruhl, the clinical director of the Club de Chien de Berger Belge, established the initial standard for the Belgian Shepherd dog. This standard categorized them into three varieties according to their coat length, with the Tuveran distinguished by its unique long and sleek fur among the four types. The breed attained official recognition in 1901. Number 22. Belgian Shepherds, including Tuverans, played vital roles during the First World War. They were utilized as messenger dogs, Red Cross aides, ambulance cart assistants, and even in the hauling of flight machine gun carts. Interestingly, the intelligent and loyal Turves were also the first choice for dogs in the Belgian police force. Number 23. In 1959, the American Kennel Club had acknowledged three separate Belgian Shepherd breeds, the Malinois, the Gronendel, and the Tuveran, leaving out the Lake Noir. Yet, in many places, the Tuveran is seen as part of one breed with the other three, their coats being the only difference. The United Kennel Club also considers the four Belgian varieties as one breed. Number 24. Registered with the AKC in 1918, the turf struggled in the US initially and the breed disappeared by the 1930s. However, a turning point came in 1953 with increased imports for breeding. The formation of the American Belgian Tavern Club in 1960 was pivotal, highlighting the breed's uniqueness and fostering its thriving presence in the US. Number 25. Today, these dogs are widely popular worldwide, yet they aren't as widely recognized in America. Despite this, the Belgian Tavern has gained a fair level of popularity in the US, securing the 104th place on the 2022 American Kennel Club list of most popular dog breeds out of 199 breeds based on total nationwide registrations. Number 26. If you are looking to buy a Belgian Tavern puppy, prices typically range between $1,200 and $3,000, averaging around $2,000. The cost can vary based on factors such as puppy's lineage, pedigree, and the size of the litter. Number 27. Known for their intelligence, energy, and loyalty, Belgian Tavern Tavarans go beyond being exceptional herding and safeguarding dogs. They excel in diverse roles, including police and military work, search and rescue missions, and serving as therapy dogs. Their versatility makes them well equipped for a range of tasks. Number 28. In the 1984 fantasy film The Company of Wolves, directed by Neil Jordan, they opted for Belgian Tavarans over real wolves due to budget constraints and safety concerns. While it's quite noticeable that the wolves are actually Tavarans, it was probably a smart decision considering the circumstances. Number 29. A Tavaran was the very first AKC herding champion, highlighting their natural herding talents. Even with the diminishing need for herding dogs during the industrial era, Belgian Tavarans have held on to their instinctive herding abilities. Number 30. During the 1920s, a renowned police dog named Albert, hailing from Holland, served dutifully with the Amsterdam police. As a Belgian Tavaran, he gained fame for tracking over 200 fugitives. When Albert passed away in 1922, the people of Amsterdam honored his service by erecting a statue in his memory. Number 31. The breed's striking appearance inspired a renowned painting by dog portrait artist Alexander Claris during the early 20th century. The model for this painting was a dog named Duke II, which had achieved victory at the first Belgian Shepherd specialty in Curegem, Belgium in May of 1892. Prints of this painting are sought after by collectors and dog enthusiasts even to this day. Alright guys, now which of these two veteran facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.